Now look, we just played, um, we just played, I don't know, uh, 60 seconds of a this 50 minute long meeting where President Trump was ostensibly negotiating <laughs> over DACA. And that 60 seconds is all you need to see to understand that Donald Trump has no idea what he's supposed to be doing in this meeting. Like literally no idea. He has no agenda. He doesn't know what the topics are. All he knows is that he's going around and going like, yeah, no, no, you speak, you speak. Okay, you speak. And uh, I remember you and speak. And that's good. And I think she said that. And that's all he's doing. But ladies and gentlemen, there, we, we, maybe we're not appreciating what happened there enough. Here is uh, CNN, Dana Bash and Gloria Berger. This was kind of stunning. I have not seen anything I like agree. this. There, there's, a lot, there's a lot to discuss with regard to the substance because there, there are a lot of unanswered questions and a lot of a real discussion totally. in this room. But I think it... Pause it for one bears. second. Pause it for one second. Couldn't agree more. So in other words, she's saying the substance of all this, there's a lot to discuss. In other words, uh, just what I said. He didn't know what the hell he's talking about, and, uh, but we're not going to talk about the substance because we've got a more important point to make. Room, but I think it definitely bears underscoring. Look, we've all covered a lot of photo ops for the sake of bringing the cameras sure. in to send, a, to send, to send a, a, an image around the world. That's not what this was. And we are as skeptical as they come. I think that's fair to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. This, this really was a negotiation. We really got a, uh, we were the fly on the wall in this room listening to the way they talk. I'm really not convinced that it would have been any different had the cameras not been in there. And I've just been communicating with now two Republicans who were in that meeting who said that they had no idea that the cameras were going to stay in there as long as they did. The president, before the cameras came in, said we're just going to be kind of a pause it, thing. Pause They're it, pause gonna... it. But excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> she just communicated with two Republicans in that room of 40 people, at least, that they didn't know that the cameras were going to be brought in there. Not administration officials, not press people from the White House, just two Republicans. I was really surprised that the camera stayed in there the whole time. Wow. It's like, it like being a fly on the wall of something where all of these politicians, these professional politicians, they seem to have no awareness of the cameras that were literally hovering over their heads. Continue. Just going to be kind of a typical thing. They're going to come in. I'm going to get, make a remark. You guys can too. Uh, and so on and so forth. And, and I'm sure I'm going to get hit for this, and I don't really care. I, I think that the bottom line is that this is a year ago. This is the presidency that many people thought Donald Trump was capable of. We're not going to, we don't know if this is going to be a results-driven um, d- d- debate, but just the notion of him Pause being... It. If I knew what results-driven debate actually meant, I would say, What? That's not relevant. What people wanted when they voted for Donald Trump is they wanted to see that he could sit in a room for 50 minutes and not know a single thing he's talking about, but say it's your turn to talk, it's your turn to talk, it's your turn to talk. You talk. The great, talk. The great, right? you turn to the talk. great delegator. There we go. Everybody, the look at me. Look at me. I, can, I just I can heard do. this phrase. Hold no on. One, your no turn. One's... Hold on. Yeah, no. What? Uh, Matt? Okay. Uh, Jamie? Do what Jamie said was right. Okay. And you good? Good. Uh, this is what people wanted when I was president. Right? Okay. You and go and play the tape. Him being in command of him wanting the cameras in there and wanting the cameras to see him sitting at a table with Democrats and Republicans playing the role of a deal maker, whether it's it's sees fruition or not. This is what people who had high hopes for the Trump presidency thought it would be meeting after meeting like this. Yeah, except for this was one meeting where he didn't know what he was talking about. And all he did was be able to sort of say, your turn to talk and boom. Now it's going to be, he's going to see you- this. And now he's going to demand that this meeting be recreated once a day. And he's even going to ask exactly. Diane, fine. No, 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 this is the part where Diane says that. <laughs> and I agree with her. And your line Line, Diane's line. Okay, look. Why are we talking about something else? No more meeting with McMaster and with Mattis. That, no one one cares. They're not cool anymore. More meetings just about 
DACA. War crimes for DACA. 2017. <laughs> they never killed Jared. It's DACA. DACA. DACA only. DACA. DACA. DACA meetings, period. I knew a girl named DACA who was, <laughs> she was a hostess, a maitre d' at Cipriani in the 1990s. And I remember when we purchased it from <laughs> Ukraine. That, those were the days. Maybe I should tell that to the Boy Scouts the next time I speak to them. <laughs> I think it was a long deadpan joke on Dana Bash's part. That's my only explanation. That oh, is that's very generous. I, maybe it's like one of those things where it's like um, there's there's something in the CNN commissary where they spin a big wheel and each person has their name on the wheel that works on at CNN. And if it lands on them, they have to be the one to say, this is the day that his presidency started. You know that somebody's uh, going to tell him the phrase, they're like, it's, it's called how the sausage gets made. And he's going to get really sausage. excited. Like, sausage gets made. Yeah. Never heard that before, but no. that's what it's called in a certain sense because you're behind closed doors. No one wants to see it. I mean, ooh, that's gross. It's almost as gross as healthcare. <laughs> and no one wants to see it, but that's how things get made. So in other words, we're making sausage, do you see? I came up with that. Actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, well, that would be the next sausage. iteration a day later. I call it making sausage. It's not very pretty. It's not very nice. But it's how things get made. <laughs> Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.